When the term new male and you male was getting thrown around there, I thought it was good for a laugh. But now, Walmart-owned company Bonobos is out there telling you that masculinity is the new femininity. Or uh, you don't have testicles in, in your scrotum anymore. You have ovaries. I'm not exactly sure what their message is. But the company claims it's named after Bonobos, which is a matriarchal society, allegedly, even though I've seen scientific evidence. Otherwise, I'm not a biologist. Uh, I don't want to go into that. But clearly, they thought it was about female empowerment. And here we have a huge marketing spend in which they sponsored the ESPYs, of course, because, you know, you've got to take, you've got to insert yourself into everything that is masculine for the sake of reasons. Uh, and we've seen them pay for a trend on Twitter and it's been responded to in a hilarious fashion. I want to look at just a few of the things as well as a Forbes article uh, trying to spin this. The word masculine is currently defined as having qualities traditionally associated with men, especially through strength and aggressiveness with synonyms like powerful, macho, red-blooded, it's time to change. Help us, quote, evolve the definition to something more inclusive. That's right, folks. When you clearly have new mail available to you to encapsulate what is clearly your target audience, you need to change the term masculinity. And I know the far left Twitter brigade has been lurking on my on my Twitter feed and will love to say how I'm a man baby spurging out over them changing the terminology of masculinity just like they thought I was losing my mind over Shira. That's not what we do here on the quartering. By the way, tell your friends about the channel. We're growing great. I'd like to see that continue. And I uh, appreciate that. Uh, no, we just make comments on society, on news events. Uh, I assure you that I'm not pacing around all day upset as much as the aggressive left would like you to think. Uh, generally, after I, I do a video, I go about my day. Um, so let's let's see what we have here. Hmm. Masculine adjective having qualities or appearance traditionally associated with men, especially strength and aggressiveness. Some of the synonyms are macho, manly, muscular, <laughs> well built, red blooded, red blooded. My goodness, strapping strong. That's right, folks. <laughs> Notice how the guy cringes at the at the mere thought of having uh, muscular be associated with masculine. Powerful. None of these really sound like me. <laughs> I think. <laughs> yeah, they don't. You don't look like any of those things either. Um, and you know what? It's okay to not be, quote, hyper-masculine, all right? It's okay to not fit that mold. That is, of course, the funny thing, right? The people with this mindset are often complaining about how society doesn't include them, but why not just have your own thing? Like, that's okay. Um, you can be a new male. That's fine. Enjoy that. Enjoy wearing uh, sunglasses and a beanie inside all the time. I mean, you do you. Nobody's saying that you have to be masculine, but what we're saying is that normal people are saying that terminology has a definition. Words have meanings, and changing those meanings in order to fit your weird new definition of being a man is absurdity. Uh, it's just, of course, you know, using the culture war to sell clothing. That's all this is. I love crying. I went to see Coco. I don't know if anyone saw Coco, but that went to that movie purposely because I knew I was going to get a good cry out of it. And I certainly did. If you don't, you're a monster. Um, 
okay, I'm going to redefine the term monster to mean strong, red-blooded. Oh, wait, no, that's what they want to do. Whoops. Uh, I feel like I've uncovered their, quote, final solution. Uh, the erasure of masculinity. It's the same attack that we see on femininity. Uh, there is nothing wrong with crying at a movie. I shed a tear during The Life Aquatic when they finally saw the jaguar shark. I, 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 there's nothing wrong with that. I teared up during the Mr. Rogers documentary. Uh, but I would tell you that wasn't exactly my most masculine moment. I had a moment of empathy or a moment of uh, caring or that's why we have different words. Otherwise, we would just have one word. We'd be like the squanch people, right? Where we would just squanch every squanch we want to squanch. And then each squanch we say meant would mean a different squanch. Uh, that's where this idea, I think, is originating. Clearly, most of these people have completely burned out the Rick and Morty DVDs. Uh, I mean, you are plenty. You are amazing. As a part of what I think each of us has to do is find out what makes us unique. But then why do you want to be masculine? These counterintuitive messages only really appeal to surface level thinkers, to people who want to belong, right? They don't really want to be, they don't really want to be unique. They want to be masculine, but they're not masculine and that's okay. I don't mind. Be soy soy skillin that's okay i think the problem the world or i'm sorry i think the problem would lie in the definition of what being a man is and being a man is associated with only being masculine no that's not entirely true these all are men they are s new males soy men um and that's okay that appeals to some soy addicted females, females that want men who kneel to them, men who worship them, men who thank God every day for the chance to feel those sweet walls every once in a while. Okay. There is a market for these new males and they're probably killing it. They're dating all sorts of women and men. But they're not masculine, all right? And they don't fit the traditional terminology of being a man. And when they say, we say there is so only one way, here. We say that there's only one way to be a man. So many individuals, they try and fit, and it just gets to a point where it's too much. You're not, you don't look like a man. If you want people to call you a man, look like a man. I'm sorry, you're wearing a woman's blouse, all right? Except that people have eyes and make decisions based on what their eyes see. Nothing is wrong with the definition of masculinity. Make up a new and new word for you. The Evolve the Definition campaign has a woman behind it. Oh, imagine my shock. Bonobos, the co-president Mickey Onvarel who joined the company in 2016. Walmart acquired the e-commerce startup funded by Andy Dunn for $310 million. Anvaral says she and Dunn began discussing the brand's broader purpose. That's right. Because your brand's purpose is not to sell cheap clothing. It is to change the world. Um, they be and we talked about moving beyond the evolution of men's pants and to the evolution of of men. That's right. That's what is important. Not selling high quality clothing, because I assure you, it's not. It's about the culture war. It's about using the culture war. It's about changing, bending, and, and controlling people. While gender equality and inclusiveness were important to the brand, Bonobos are a matriarchal society. That's under question. Anvarel says, a woman's perspective on the event since the presidential... Of course! Of course! Of course! That's my best chunk for you there. Uh, 
Andy would describe himself as a feminist, and while inclusiveness might be in the brand's DNA, he likes to say it took a woman to bring it to life, says Anvaral. Our bigger purpose became starting a conversation about masculinity. Right. Right. And that's why you chose to sponsor the ESPYs instead of sponsoring a Broadway show. Why do you think that is? Do you think that maybe they have some sort of idea to erode masculinity? How many pairs of pants do you think your new male propaganda sold during the ESPYs? I'm going to guess almost none, right? It's like the idea that uh, people watch awards shows. Like, I don't watch the ESPYs. I watch baseball games. Most sports fans don't watch award shows. Nobody wants to hear about how a multimillionaire overcame to become an even richer multimillionaire. Or they made a great play and let's worship them. We already do that every Sunday for football. All right. Nobody gives a shit about the Pro Bowl. Nobody gives a shit about award ceremonies. Nobody cares about the Grammys. Nobody cares about the Oscars except for the bourgeoisie ultra rich far left regressives already in Hollywood. They're smelling their own farts. Joe Everyman and Jane Every Woman doesn't want a new male. You go pull a hundred women on the street and ask them if they want to be married to a male feminist with T levels lower than their grandfather and see what that number comes back. This is all about propaganda. This is all about the attack on masculinity. And it's hilarious to see now Walmart funding this same attack when their customers would probably fit the Joe Everyman, J Jane Every Lady uh, to a T, a low T. Thank you.